everyone and welcome to payroll excel 2018 it's almost the end of the year but you still have to file quarterly reports and annual reports for 2018 so let's talk about 2018 and then as december rolls around we're going to start to get into 2019 when the irs releases the pub 15 or the advance notice about the new rates for 2019 probably in december but this is about 2018 Illinois quarterly payroll withholding, and we're going to go in and discuss how the Illinois payroll rates are calculated, how the tax withholding is calculated for Illinois. So this is a payroll in Excel 2018 file here. Um, what you get from Illinois is uh, an Illinois W-4 your employees have to fill out. This is what it looks like. It's going to ask you if anyone else can claim you as a dependent. Uh, or if you claim your spouse as a dependent, you're going to enter, you know, say no one else can claim you as a dependent, but you're not married, you would put a one here. Uh, if you can't see that, it's right there. Number of dependents other than you and your spouse. Let's say that you have one dependent as well here. This line one and line two is what's going to go into the Excel file here in the employee information sheet. Um, th this has to do with your federal allowances. You have a federal W-4 as well, which we're not going over in this video whether or not you're married. Here's where that information we just talked about, line one from the Illinois W-4 goes right here. You can choose one. Uh, the number uh, for Illinois uh, line two, which is this right here. That goes right here, so we're putting one there. Let's, let's actually do this for another person. Let's say this person has two and then two. They're in Illinois. You're gonna put a name, so this is person two right and whatever their social security number is and then what state they're in for unemployment as well we have an area for unemployment down here the wage base maximum for unemployment for illinois is twelve thousand nine hundred sixty dollars for 2018 you put that that is right there and then the rate that's assigned to you by illinois would go right here this is a standard rate for small employers 5.4 percent and then if you have an Illinois tax withholding number, if you registered with Illinois, you would type that right in here. So you fill this out. You can also put an address for your employee over here. You know, I'm, I'm just putting whatever address here. It doesn't really matter. So now that you have that employee base information in the file, what you're going to see is this is payroll periods related to quarterly payer. So this is somebody who's only going to pay once a quarter. If you don't have very frequent pay periods, you just need to pay somebody in business maybe once a quarter. Uh, so what you have is we have pay periods that are listed semi-monthly in this file, but all the formulas are quarterly. So you'd really only want to have one pay period per quarter. So all the way down to uh, March 31st, this January 15th through March 31st would be Q1. So let's put a random pay period in here. Let's say somebody worked 300 hours in the period and they get $25 an hour. And maybe they got $2,500 commission as well. Uh, let's not worry about 401k. We're going to hide that. Let's not worry about per diem. Let's hide that as well. Keep, keep in mind that there are a ton of different columns in this file that are going to allow you to do almost anything you want or we can program any scenario you want. You can see how many there are right here. There's just tons of different formulas to allow you to run any payroll scenario that you want. But we're going to focus on less right now. Okay, so we're back over here. So we've entered in information about a payroll period on February 15th. And you can see that a taxable gross amount, which is automatically calculated here, will be $10,000. So that's 300 times 25, that's 7,500, plus the 2,500 commission we just added in. So now let's get into how the Illinois uh, allowances and state tax are actually calculated. First thing you need to do is figure out how many allowances, or it's really exemptions or allowances that you're pulling out of taxable gross that you're not, you're not going to tax. And the formula for that is provided here in the Illinois rate tax booklet, which you can find online. And here's the basic formula right here. What it wants you to do is there's a pretty much a straight and easy tax rate that you're going to be taxing your remaining taxable, taxable gross by. It's this 4.95% or 0.0495. And you're going to multiply it by, this is your taxable wages right here. 
and your taxable wage is minus the allowances. So what they want you to do is they want you to multiply those allowances that we entered in on line one from the 11, uh, the Illinois W-4. They want you to multiply that line one allowance by 2,225, and then they want you to add to that the number of line two allowances from that 11, uh, that Illinois W-4 times a thousand dollars. And then they want you to divide that by the number of pay periods in the year. The number of pay periods in this year, because we're doing a quarterly version, is only going to be four, because there are four pay periods in a quarter. So how does that look in the actual formula? Well, let's take a look at one where we're actually working in this pay period right here. This is what the formula looks like. It's pretty easy. You just got to remember to put your parentheses in the right place. You're going to have F6 is the number of Illinois W-4 withholdings in line 1 times the 2,225 plus G6, which is the Illinois W-4 holdings from line 2 times 1,000. And you can divide the whole thing by 4. If you had different pay periods, say you were a weekly payer with 52 periods, you would just put 52 right here. Say you were a, uh, a semi-monthly payer, you're going to have 24 pay periods. You put 24 there. But for the purposes of this, we're going to leave that at 4. That's going to give you a bulk allowance amount, which you're going to reduce your taxable gross by, and then tax it by the 4.95%. So uh, this is a, also a pretty easy formula here to determine that. What's going on in this formula is it's saying take the taxable gross, which is Z6, and you're going to subtract out the allowance amount, which is this column AU right here. Let me get out of that for a second. Z6 minus AU6 times 4.0.495, or taxable gross minus the allowance amount you've just calculated in that previous formula, times 4.95%. Add a little uh, additional part in front of this formula so that you don't have any errors in this file. It's first checking to make sure that your taxable gross, Z6, minus AU6 is greater than zero. You know, if it's less than zero, meaning after you pull all your allowances out of your taxable gross, you end up with a number that was less than zero or a negative taxable amount, that it wouldn't screw up your formulas and make you tax negative money and cause any problems. So that's why there's this little provision here in this if formula right there. And then it's pretty straightforward and you've got your tax. Um, and and uh, we also have quarterly tax rates. I've never done a quarterly file before, so I'll also paste these quarterly tax rates. This is from the Pub 15 or the Circular E, the federal release about what the rates are. The rates are pretty complicated, so we won't go to them. It's, it's a long rounding formula. If you've seen any of my previous formula um, videos on uh, tax rates and how to tax federal tax, uh, I can paste this formula, but it, it's a really complicated long for, formula. But that is how you write that. Um, you write a different one for single and a different one for married. So after you've done this, how does all this information flow into your reporting and, and you have to file certain things like 941s or state tax reports and all these things? Well, let's show you how that works. We'll go to this report sheet right here. I have some old data in here. These are pivot table reports. They are going to make your life really, really easy because all you have to do is right click inside of them and choose refresh and everything updates. You can see that we have just one quarterly pay period this person would owe $2,446.941 tax. The net paycheck would be $7,863. Uh, your state tax over here is that $455.09 that you could see right here, right? That's what that is. This is your state tax report. They, they refresh together. You can always toggle by different pay periods and see which pay period that was. It was the 215 pay period that related um, to what we're doing right now. And then you have different people as well, you can see that this was all Ken. There was no uh, paycheck or, or pay period for person two. So these pivot slicers can help you generate your reports and file things quickly. This is what the 941 looks like. 941 is an automatic file here, or automatic sheet. All you have to do is click and refresh this. It's already refreshed because a lot of the pivot tables are connected, so it already refreshed. And you just choose what quarter you're in. This is all Q1 stuff. So if you hit this little slicer, hit Q1, you can see that's where this is what contributes to that $2,446 that we need to pay. What's the breakdown? The breakdown is related to federal tax withheld of 916, your employer Social Security, 
your employee Social Security, your Medicare, employee Medicare, and employer Medicare, and they're going to all add up to 2446 once you add the additional Medicare, which is not shown right here. So uh, we also have state unemployment reports. So our unemployment, which was related to this number that we put right here on our employee sheet, is 5.4% on the first 12,000. 960 of wages, you can see that uh, this full 10,000 would be subject to UI, subject to unemployment, because it's less than 12,960. You'd end up paying $540 on this amount. If you went in and you had additional money, say we had some additional commission in a later pay period of another $5,000, okay? You could go back to the UI report and refresh and watch what happens. I'll make this a little easier for you to see. Just refresh, and all of a sudden, you see that we end up with excess wages because we're over this 12960 This 15000 is more than that. Uh, so we have excess wages, and your total UI tax for the quarter would be this. Few to report, similar situation. It's like 6% um, or 0.06%, I think. And um, that would end up being $42, if we refresh this, for $7,000 are taxable for FUTA if you pay your federal unemployment tax on time. Um, we also have a W-2 sheet right here that will help you file your W-2s and break down everything here. Also, refresh this table. And you can see everything like gross wages, taxable wages, bases, everything that goes on your W-2 sheet, and we can add columns as need be if you have other special scenarios that are not being shown in this file. Uh, and then also this generates a pay stub as well. So that's what your pay paycheck looks like for that one period. $7,863 for that quarterly pay period. Notice, actually notice we did something that we would normally do. We would not have two pay periods here because it's a quarterly payer, so generally they're only going to pay once per the quarter, so this really would not be the way you'd want to do it. You want to have, this payment would have to be in a separate pay period, something like that. So that's Illinois tax withholding in Excel. If you're interested in purchasing a payroll in Excel file, go to KenBraverman.com, contact me, and I can get you set up. If you have a small business, I guarantee this is the least expensive option for running payroll for your own business. That's my guarantee. Um, I've been doing it for I like at least eight or nine years, and I'm going to continue to do so. So get ready for 2019, and may payroll be easy because that's what it's supposed to be.